New cast members and departures from General Hospital confirm that soap veteran Josh Kelly is on his way to Port Chuck, where he could play the legendary role of Jason Morgan. Even though we don't know who he'll be playing yet, this may be fun. A number of returning characters and the departure of a fan favorite are also on the agenda for this season of General Hospital. Read on for five arguments that Josh should replace Jason. There are also the most up-to-date casting announcements for the ABC daytime drama. The soap veteran Josh Kelly is reportedly joining the cast of General Hospital. The role of Cutter Wentworth on One Life to Live made Josh a household name. Josh also played Jeremy Kaner in the Lifetime series Unreal. In addition, you may recognize Josh from his appearances on Station 19, Army Wives, Transformers, and many other TV shows and movies. Josh Kelly may now add General Hospital to his resume. On top of that, by the end of the month of May, Josh will start appearing regularly on the soap. Josh's backstory and personality are currently unknown. Yet, there are hints that General Hospital may be planning yet another recasting of Jason Morgan. In light of recent events at General Hospital, here are five ways in which Josh Kelly could step in to replace outgoing mob enforcer Jason Morgan Number 1. No longer will you see Steve Burton around. He's now playing a part in Days of Our Lives, Beyond Salem. The actor formerly known as Jason Morgan will be recast in the part of Harris Michaels. He first performed in 1988, and it seems likely that Steve will debut there before making the leap to the flagship program. It appears he has vanished for good too, the people closest to Jason will be profoundly affected by Josh's personality. This character is expected to have substantial interactions with Kelly, Monaco's Sam McCall, Jason's ex-wife, and Dan Falconeri, who is dating McCall now, Dominic Zamprogna. It's true that Santin would be thrown for a loop if Stone Cold returned to General Hospital. This unmistakably resembles Jason. Obviously, Britt hasn't gotten over the gangster, and she still has feelings for him. Not to mention, she loses it quickly. Therefore, if he were to come back now, he could rescue Britt just in time. Number 4 on General Hospital Jason Morgan will soon be proclaimed legally dead. Therefore, this provides strong evidence that he may return when his family is getting ready to relocate Number 5 friend help is required for Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, and his ex-wife. Sonny and Laura Wright's Carly Corinthos are in dire need of Jason's return. In addition, Sonny has been having flashbacks of Jason. Those are the five most convincing clues and indicators that Jason is alive and well after the tunnel collapse in Greece. Furthermore, he could suddenly reappear at any moment. Yes, Josh Kelly is 10 years younger than Drew Kane, who plays Jason's identical twin, Cameron Matheson. However, the same could be said of the age difference between Billy Miller and Burton the previous time Jason Morgan returned from the grave. Additionally, Dan Buran's nefarious music producer Link Brown has returned to General Hospital, as per recent casting announcements. And Brooke Lynn Quartermain may expect a rough ride from him, Amanda Seton. Chelsea Lamb, Jen Ray, the medium, has finished her run on General Hospital. In a recent episode, she assisted Rebecca Herbst's Elizabeth Weber in making contact with Franco Baldwin's ghost, Roger Howarth. And from here on out, life isn't going to get any easier for Liz. In addition, Nancy Lee Gron has resumed her role as Alexis Davis in the studio. Stephanie Erb, who had been cast as Alexis temporarily, has finished her run in the role. While Nancy was recovering from spinal surgery, Stephanie took over her duties. Alexis whose life was shattered by Harmony Miller, Inga Kadrenal, is ready to devote herself entirely to the invader at the present time. Cameron Matheson, who plays Drew Kane on General Hospital, is also taking a sabbatical from the show. Cameron has currently moved production of The Christmas Farm to Ontario, Canada. He has been away from his General Hospital family for too long and can't wait to get back to playing Drew. Some have speculated that Josh Kelly could step in to play Drew while he is away but it is highly improbable given the long-term nature of the role. As for Matheson, he'll be gone for only a short while. Along with that, mobster Cyrus Renault, played by Jeff Kober, will be back in no time. Along with this, Paparazzi Felty is now played by Brian Norris, Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, who has resumed drug use on General Hospital, is having trouble thanks to the photographer. 
To make matters worse, the face of deception is about to experience a dramatic uptick in pressure. If you want to know if Josh Kelly will replace Jason Morgan on General Hospital, ABC, you shouldn't miss a single episode. The reappearance of Stone Cold would have far-reaching consequences for the people of Port Chuck, and the situation would likely end in a violent explosion. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Gossip for America, and stay with us.